Hi guys, welcome back. I know you have been loving these cardio bar routines, so we are back with another one today. You do not need any equipment, just your mat and your super strong legs, abs, arms, everything. So come with me now, let's do this dance. So we're going to start off fairly easy here, fairly mild. I want you to stack arms in front here, so like a little genie, and you're going to start with a nice little high knee march. So knees can just go straight up to the forearms here, exhaling every time you lift, and keeping navel drawn into spine. Make sure that those shoulders do not creep their way up. So little by little, we'll just start building some heat, and then we'll get into the actual cardio affair. Little bit more here, and then you're just going to add a squeeze here. So every time knee comes up, squeezing the shoulder blades together and back. Maintaining that beautiful posture here. If you wanted to take this to a straight leg, you could do that as well. And then final one here, we'll go for a twist. So arms back in front, elbow just twists toward that opposite knee. Knees will still track in front, so that twist just comes from the upper body. Nice steady pace for four, three, two, one. Good, bring it down. Feet are just going to be hip distance apart here, toes pointing forward. Hands can just rest gently on the hips here. Lift up heels, roll back. So every time you lift up, even though we're lengthening from down low, I want you to think of lengthening through the torso as well. So navel will just draw in and up. You are stretching the back as long as you can here. Hoo hoo hoo. Already feeling nice and warm. A little bit more here, we'll speed it up. So lift, lift, lift. You are just lightly tapping the floor for like half a second and then popping it right back up. Feeling that burn starting to come into the calves and it's just gonna work its way up the backs of the legs like the lead on a stick of dynamite and pow, hit the butt. Go for three two, one, and then take the feet a bit wider here. So toes still pointing forward, it's gonna be a little bit weird. Balance is gonna be a little harder, up and down, up and down. Ooh, that stabilization is weird. Weird wild stuff. If I know you guys have got it, keep drawing that navel in tight. Really good one for all those stabilizer muscles that make your legs look nice and sculpted. I know we're like going into autumn winter now, but whatever, you can still have sculpted legs. We'll be ready for, I don't know, beach break, if you have a beach break. Go for three, two, one. Heels down, take the feet even a little bit wider there. You're gonna sit the butt back and then just go for a nice little lunge here side to side. So one leg will be straight, the other will be bent. You're pressing down through the heels, butt is pushing back, squeezing navel in, and keeping chest lifted. Go for eight. Nice little hip and over in there. Four, three, two, one. I want you to stay to one side here. You're gonna push off of that side, lunge. So one leg is still straight, knee drive. Bring it back down, knee drive. So bringing that knee, all the way up into the chest. That back leg that you're pushing off of, that will always be straight through this one. And do four. Landing nice and light. Two, one. Go right into a high knee here. So keeping chest lifted. Let's see how my hair can handle a high knee. <laughs> it helps if your hair is a little bit greasy. Pro tip for next time you're doing cardio or hit, just don't wash your hair for a few days and it stays in place a little bit better while you're moving around. So bring those knees up nice and high, keeping back long for eight. Four, three, two, one. Good, other side, we're gonna step out, knee drive. Step out, knee drive. 
So just right into it. We are into the thick of things now. So there will be no break, no rest. We go hard. Here's three, two, last one. Right into a little ollie shuffle here. So nice little switch foot, staying light on the feet. I like these ones, it's like a little, little prance. They're playful. Keep going for these. Just working that heart rate up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Feet together here. I want you to stay here. You're going to pop out now. So toes open, bend in the knees. You can take the hands to your thighs, pop it back together. And we speed it up. So you can go as fast as you want here, as long as you are maintaining that form. So pressing down through the heels, hopping the feet together, landing nice and light. Already out of breath. Do five. Two and one. Good, hop it wide again here. So we'll just give everything a little shake, a little stretch out. Make sure that you stay moving here. Inhale, arms out to the side. Exhale, bring it down. Inhale, sweep up and over. So quick little stretch break. We'll call this a break. Then we're getting into some more of that strength slash cardio work. Last one here, hold it at the top. I want you to turn your left foot, so it's pointing straight toward me, right foot out to the side, take arms out to the side, and you're just going to slowly start to bend over that right side, nice little triangle stretch here. If you want, if the knees are hurting, keep a little bit of a bend in that right knee. You can just bring hand to the shin, that is fine. And then if you haven't already bent that knee, do so now. Take the forearm on top, sink a little deeper, and reach the left arm overhead. Good, so you're gonna roll your way through center here, right over to the other side. So left foot turns out, right hand, no, left hand, down on the shin here, right arm reaches up, spreading chest nice and wide, long line of energy, fingertips to other fingertips. And then put a bend in that knee, reach up and overhead. And then just come back through center again, turn both toes forward, Sink the butt down here, hands onto the thighs. Inhale, lift the chest, hollowing out that lower back. Exhale, round, draw in. Do that one more time. Inhale, hollow. Exhale, round, roll all the way back up to standing. Okay, now we get, we really get into it here. So keep those feet wide, toes turned out. We're starting not too crazy here. Arms out to the side, shoulders soft. You're going to inhale, sink down, nice big plie squat. Exhale, slide back up. So, reference I always like to use for this is just imagine that you have a wall behind your back. If you have already worked up a little bit of a sweat, you should just be leaving a little beautiful glistening trail of sweat down that wall in a nice straight line. So every part of your back should be in contact with that wall. It's not just your butt popping out, it is every part, all the way from the tailbone to shoulders and you're just squeezing those inner thighs together to bring you back up, creating a bit of resistance. Just down and up. Hips are hopefully feeling nice and open. Though this is, this is a real loss with like transition into autumn. I feel like everything just gets so much tighter in the cold. I'm a rural baby with cold though, so. Like it's still quite warm in Madrid and I'm being a baby about it. Go for two, stay low on one and pulse it out. So just little tiny pulses here, still maintaining that tuck. So tail between legs, shoulder blades back and down. Keep pulsing it, hopefully feeling a bit of a burn. I don't care, burn more. More, more, more. Keep it pulsing, sink lower for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, 
two, one, from there. You're just going to choose one side, twist that side, make sure you're fully turning feet. So feet, hips, knees are pointing in one direction. Drop it down to a lunge, come back to center. So you gotta be light on those feet. Same side, drop to lunge, back to center. Drop to lunge. So you can go a little bit slower with this one. If you need time to square up the hips, what we don't want is for feet, knees, hips to go off track because that's where we risk injury. And nobody's got time for that. And go for four and three, two, last one. You stay in that lunge, you stay. My favorite one here, you're going to go down for three. So it's gonna be a three, two, one, little tiny halfway up. Three, two, one, halfway. So your butt is going to act like a break. It's just going to stop that motion. Your legs wanna push you all the way up. I know they're tired already, but we're not going there. Butt's gotta be the break. Keep it going here. Halfway. One, two, three, little lift. One, two, three, little lift. I'm already burning, three more here. And last one, and then you're just pulsing that lunge. So again, I don't want you to see you leaning like this, that back leg stretching straight. I could do this all day long with that back leg straight. You drop it low, you tuck that butt, you draw that knee underneath. Now we're burning. <sighs> Woo. And you could use like a chair for this if you wanted a bit of stability. Go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Option here if you wanna pop up that front heel and final set of pulses here. You can also keep that heel down, no worries. But if you want a bit of a challenge, go here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Back for a little cardio. Back leg, <laughs> ah, hop it up, here we go. I need that little break in the middle. <laughs> hop it up. If you don't need that little break, don't take it, just go for that hop. If you don't wanna hop, just take a knee drive there. Don't leave the floor. So you have options. Go for three, two, and one. Step it back, come back through center. So I'm gonna give you a break here before we go to the other side. So you're back in that big wide play squat. We're gonna do those triples here. So it's gonna be one, two, three, halfway. One, two, three, halfway. One, two, three, halfway. Whew. Halfway. How are you guys doing? A little chance to like let the heart rate come down just the tiniest little bit. And I'm sorry, but we do have to do the other side still. Go for a couple more here. And last one, and then just for fun here. I want you to imagine you're picking something up, put it on the shelf. Pick it up, put it on the shelf. Chest will always be above the line of the hips here. So don't fold forward like that. No, that's not safe lifting. Gotta lift with the butt. And I know that you have nice strong butts, so they gotta do it. They gotta do it. Go for four, three, two, one. Arms come back out. Give the hips a quick little wiggle here before we do that second side. So back to that plie, we twist the opposite direction, lunge. Come back through center. Oh, I'm shaky already. Hopefully you guys are shaking too. If not, well done. Maybe go a little harder. But we can all just shake and sweat together in sweet harmony. The way it was meant to be. Couple more here. I'm dreading it. I'm dreading it right here. We got those triples. Oh man, okay. Three, two, one, halfway. Three, two, one, halfway. Three, two, one, halfway. 
and I don't care what you want to do with your hands. Totally up to you. As long as those shoulders are down. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. We are in the zone. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. A few more here. Remember to breathe. And last one. And then we just pulse it. So put a deep end in that back knee. You are not here. It is tucking under. Pulse it out. Make it count. Go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Option pop up that front heel. Pulse it there. Hello. Go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Heel down. Woo! Pop that knee up. Bring it back. Pop it up. The first one of these is like, you feel like you can't ever get up again. And then it becomes a little bit better. At least that's what I'm telling myself right now. Go for four and three, two, and one. Step it back. Come back through center. And I mean, I already wrote this routine down. So we gotta do this next one. I regret writing it, but once it's down, you gotta like, you gotta do it, you gotta follow through. Okay, last little cardio bit here. In our standing portion, you're going to reach down again, pop, pop, pop. If that jump is too much, if you wanna modify, just go for a squat. So just go for that. Again, chest stays above the line of the hips. Keep popping it out here. Give you eight. And four, three, two, one. Bring it up. Give it a shake out. Shake out those legs here. Stay moving. I feel like that was such a small amount of time. And yet, it hurts so much. Ugh. So take a quick little break here. If you need to grab a sip of water, do that. Make sure that you stay moving and I will meet you guys back down on the mat. All right, break time is over. So put down your water, put down your towel if you've just been wiping the sweat away and we're coming into a plank. Yes, that's right. All the favorites are here. So pop up into that plank here, shoulders stacked over wrists, squeeze the glutes, squeeze the navel. I'm gonna pop up that right leg. You're going to take it, cross the left elbow, take it to the right, step it back. Now switch sides, cross, same, step back, cross, same, step back, cross, same, step back. Keep it going here. Whew, like at least, we're not lunging for a second. At least the legs get a tiny bit of a break. One more on each side. And then we go for a mountain climber. <laughs> so you can continue to just step the feet in or go for a nice little run here. Take a jog with me. So keep shoulders over the wrists, back stays flat. I don't wanna see butts up in the air. Well, I mean, I'm not gonna see it, or will I? <laughs> and go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Take a break, quick downward dog. That's your break. That's the break we're going with right now. Oh, it does feel good. It does feel good, just that little bit of a rest. Okay, when you are ready, or again before you're ready, bring it back to plank. I want you to step out right foot, left foot, right, left. Tap, tap. Nice quick pace here. I know shoulders are probably burning. Hey, but at least again, the legs get a tiny bit of a break compared to before. And two, one, continue there, or take it to a full jump. Go for eight, four, three, two, one. Hold plank, just hold it. 
You give me four, three, two, one. Knees down. Hello, child's pose. Oh, hello, child's pose, my old friend. I come to talk with you again. Press into the arms here a little bit. So shoulders getting quick rest there. And then we gotta work a little bit of triceps here. So we're gonna come back into plank. You are welcome to pop all the way back up onto the toes if that feels good for you. Otherwise, you are also welcome to stay on the knees for this one. If the knees need a little extra padding, just roll up your mat a little bit underneath or maybe lay a towel down. Hands underneath the shoulders though, that butt is tucked, navel as well, and we're just gonna go for a tricep press up here. So elbows bend back, exhale, push up. Thinking just as much lifting with the abs as you are pressing up with the arms. So no hollow backs here. I ain't no hollow back girl. I've just got all the song references today. I don't know. I need like some new music in my life because I just listen to stuff from like, <laughs> like years ago. I'm on the Shawn Mendes train right now. So hit me up if you're also on that train. Go for three more here. And two. Last one. Also nice and shaky. Sit it back again here. Another quick child's pose. And then give the wrists a little shake out. Give the shoulders a little shake out. And we are flipping this show around. Yes, we are. So coming down onto the back here. Legs will just stay bent in front of you. Oh, I could just stay here. So heels in close to the butt, pressing down through the heels. Inhale, reach both arms overhead. Exhale, I want you to lift here. Press the lower back down even more. Create a little hollow. Chin is off the chest. We're gonna start with our hundreds. So you're gonna inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale. Exhale. On your next one, lift up the right knee. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. If you need to take a quick rest here, just take the head down, lift it back up when you're ready. Maybe take one hand behind and go ahead, switch legs. We're gonna like travel to new realms with these hundreds. And both knees up. Make sure they stay right over the hips. They're not pulling back in toward you. Squeeze the navel in even tighter. Next one, I want you to extend the right leg. Left knee still stays over the hips. And switch. So still just continuing with five counts in, five counts out. So we're really focusing on that breath. And then from there, bring it back in. Extend both legs up straight. Squeezing heels together. Where else can we go with this? I'll tell you, drop the right leg if you want to modify. You can just touch it to the floor. Otherwise, if you are going big, going big, you're going to keep it hovering. And switch. So that leg that's lifted up straight, I want you to pull it in tight toward you. And then from there, keep that leg up. Grab either behind the calf or the thigh, anywhere except the knee. And we're going to pull, pull, and switch. Exhale as you pull, inhale as you switch. So nice steady pace. You could rest the head back down if you wanted to. Maybe put a little bend in the knee, grab behind the thigh. So there's so many ways that you can do this. I like to make these workouts challenging, <laughs> obviously, um, but you can always modify or progress. And now we progress. So arms come down. You're just going to do a little kick and kick. If lower back needs a little extra support, hands can just come underneath the tailbone there. Holding for just a second, going nice and big with these. 
for six. Whew. And bring both legs up. So we're gonna have a bit of fun here. Fun? Yeah, let's call it that. So you're going to lower halfway, and that way you can be one, two, bring the feet together, lift up. So lower halfway, scissor, scissor, heels together, lift. Meet in the middle, lift it back up. So this is a great total body workout. You will feel <laughs> everything shaking and burning. I know you already do, because I'm there too. Go for two more here. And perfectly fine if you've got a little bit of a bend in the knees here. Okay, keep those legs up. I want you to bring it back down to an angle. Just finish this little set with some helicopters. So reaching long through the tips of toes, squeeze that navel in tight, keep it going nice and quick. See if you can go lower, a little bit harder, the lower you go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, heels together. Whew. Bring the knees in, feet come back down. So totally narrow here. Knees are touching, feet are touching, hands just by the sides here, shoulder blades tucked under. You thought we were done working the butt, no we're not. <laughs> Inhale, exhale, lift the butt up, touch it back down. So it's gonna be an exhale, lift, inhale, touch. Do not let those knees come apart. 500 euro note, $500, 500 pounds. I don't care, whatever you wanna use, put it between your knees. Choose something of value though, and don't let it go. So squeezing really tight there at the top, squeezing from the butt rather than the lower back. And if you thought we were finishing here, have you ever like seen these workouts? Like, do you know how this goes? No, this is not the end. Go for three and two. Keep it up on one. So touch that butt down just long enough to extend the right leg out here. Inhale, on that exhale, we are gonna kick it up, shazam. So exhale, pow. I don't know, whatever sound effects you wanna use, but make it a high kick. Live out your kick line fantasies here. Be a Radio City Rockette. Go for four more. Here's four and three. Two, we just stay up there on one. So keep the butt lifted. You're just going to lower and lift, lower and lift. Left glute is shaking like whoa. Go for four, three, two, but we're not stopping. Keep it up there on one, pulse hips up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Take that foot down. Again, hips down just long enough. Left leg comes out. Inhale, exhale. You know what's happening. You know the drill. Exhale, kick it up. So lower abs are still very much working here to help you with that high kick. Give me three, two. <laughs> we stay up. Lower and lift. Lower and lift. I know you got me right, glute. Go for four more. Here's four, three, two, keep it up on one, and pulse, pulse for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Take that foot down, feet together, knees together, pulse here. Bring it all back together. Teamwork makes the dream work. Oh, glutes working together. It's beautiful. Go for six, five, four, three, two, one. Slowly release down. We are so close to being done here. Extend the legs out here. Oh, give everything a little shake out. The end. 
No, it's not. Um, <laughs> hug the knees back in here. We're going to finish with one little last sweet ab cardio move here. So we're going for one of my all-time favorites. It is the starfish crunch. I'm going to give you options here. So we will all start right here. You can lift head, neck, and shoulders if you want. Everything's just going to reach out. Big starfish. Hug it in. Big starfish. Hug it in. If you're ready to crank that up to the next level, you're going out all the way up. Out all the way up. See if you can go for it there. We're going quick. Final move. And then we are stretching. And then that is you done. So now is not the time to give up. We've all got second wind, right? Third wind, fourth wind, I don't know. However many it takes to get it done, go for four, three, two, one. Yay! Oh, there it is. Extend both those legs long. Give them a little shake out. Inhale, reach arms up. Exhale, take a forward fold. <sighs> Inhale, lift. Exhale, melt a little bit deeper. <sighs> Give those legs a little bit more of a shake out there. Sit up nice and tall. Take the right foot, just cross it over left knee here. Right hand comes behind, left arm, you're just gonna hug that right knee in toward you, lifting the chest up and over. And I want you to see if you can grab the outer arch of that right foot with the left hand, you're going to kick it out long here. So still staying in that twist. From there, bring that right arm around, cross it over, lift it up through center here. Maybe bring that leg in. So if this feels okay for you, being really conscious of the knee though. If the knee does not like this, don't do it. Make sure you're flexing that right foot so ankle is locked. You can give the hip a little, little baby massage out there. And then release, extend that leg long. Left foot crosses over the top now. Left hand behind, right arm comes around. This is the fun part. This is like the the victory lap. How did we do? Grab the outer arch of that foot, extend it long. So just twisting into it. Bring that left arm back around. Cross the wrists, lift up into it. Pull it in if that knee feels okay. You're just going to nestle the foot in the crook of the right arm here, locking that left ankle, sit up into it. Give the hip a little wiggle out. And then release, take soles of feet together. Knees just dropping wide here. You can always go for a little bit of motion with this, so maybe rock it out. I always prefer a more dynamic stretch. Um, I mean, dynamic static stretches are good too. And we're at the end here, so we're nice and warm. It's a good time to go for those static stretches. So maybe do a little wiggle and then just press into it and hold. Option is always yours. Go ahead, flip around here. Come on to hands and knees. Take that right knee forward. We'll just come into a nice little pigeon stretch here on the right side. So hips pressing down. The farther that that right uh, foot creeps up um, toward the front of your mat, the deeper that stretch is going to be. Feel free to lower to the forearms here. So really reaching long through the crown of the head, just melting into it. You can rest the head down if that works for you. And release, bring it back up. I want you to stay there, put a bend in that left knee, see if you can reach the left arm around, pull that left foot in toward you. So nice little quad stretch there. And release, press back up, we'll switch sides. So left knee comes forward. Again, just dropping down, sinking down into that pigeon. One side might be a bit tighter. But just melting into it, enjoying this nice, fairly relaxed finish. And press it back up, put a bend in that right knee, reach around, pull it in, sinking hips down as you do that. 
and release. Step that foot back, drop both hips down here. Nice little cobra, you can give it a little wiggle out. Squeezing the butt tight though, so we're always supporting any kind of back bend with our nice strong glutes. And then press back to a child's pose. Take a couple of nice deep breaths here. Again, I like to just take like a little rock here side to side, just to give my shoulders a little something extra. And then walk the hands back in here. Roll your way back up. You guys made it through that brutal workout. Whoa, so give yourselves a nice little pat on the back there. I'm sure you guys did an awesome job. If you enjoyed this workout, be sure to let me know by giving it a like down below and leave me a comment letting me know what you would like to see next. So if you enjoy these kinds of workouts, so these cardio ones, let me know and I will see you in my next video. Bye.